Alright, what's poppin' people? It's your boy Shaq, aka Black Goku, and today we're here with another Fire Emblem Heroes video. So uh, this is the surprise Fate channel for August 1st. I don't I don't know if they announced this or they told us that they were gonna do this, but I already um I already watched this. I, I watched it like uh about like like right around when it uh popped up because like I got the Twitter notification for the Japanese uh Fay or wait, no, Japanese Nintendo Mobile. It doesn't matter. I saw it early. And I was like going through, and I was like, "Oh shit, it's kind of a little lit." But um, this isn't like in a it, this isn't a first reaction. This is more just like I'm going over it and giving my like impressions about shit, and just like giving like a moderately quick-ish like rundown. So without further ado, I'm just gonna start it. Now I'm gonna be playing it at 1.5 times speed. I might bump that up because I'm just gonna try and like uh, get to like the important points, stop it, talk about it a little bit, talk about like how I feel about it, then go on to the next thing. It's gonna be really quick, but it's definitely like some interesting shit in here. So, actually, brace yourselves for the latest information on the another summer celebration this year. Summer celebration marks the two and a half year anniversary of the Fire Emblem Heroes game. Your support has made this milestone possible. There's a lot of events planned to celebrate how far. Okay, so we're gonna get orbs uh, from the login bonus. We're gonna get orbs from the celebration quests. I assume daily reward maps. That's gonna be more orbs, double exp, sp. That's like. That's like kind of standard shit for like pretty much any event. So if you guys need to like level up some units, grind some units, you already know what to do. Uh, daily summoning event. So I think this is going to be the, the round two of the, of uh, what we were getting like, like a week ago. Like, a, wait, is it still going on? I, I forget. But like when we were getting those, like the reruns of all of the year one banners, uh, that's what we're getting now. But only it's for year two, which is, which is pretty good. Uh, Grand Hero Revival event, that's going to be good for, and that's going to be for all the heroes from Generation 2 that were the GHBs, and then Hero Fest. So, let's skip around. We've come. Let's die. In of days. This time, heroes who placed in the top ranks of the Find and Vote Heroes event held in February will appear as your foes. You can choose either normal... Okay, so basically. Next up, the grand okay. earn up to twenty orbs by completing these maps on both There we go. Demo so doing those daily maps, we're gonna get twenty orbs total, which Next is dope. And now for the grand hero uh, revival, this is gonna be pretty good because we got like a few like, or for me like a, a few personal uh, uh, units that I want to get. So like. So fuck Oliver, <laughs> I want my boy Kana. I can definitely take another line this because I think you're only gonna get one more copy. Uh, yeah, I, th I think you only get one additional copy, and like it's probably just like quest for the other shit. Um, actually, yes, yeah, some of these, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't mind getting another uh, Takumi, uh, Kana, Linus, uh, Versa, obviously, because Versa is like fucking like hella good, and I'm kind of. Mm, I kind of want a Garen, but like, I didn't even like five star the one that I have now, and, and Jamke is like pretty pretty good archer. So, yeah, the rest of them I don't really care that much about. But, yep, let's let's keep it going. Days. All right. It's been a while since we've admired beauty. Then we'll have a duo of summoning So daily daily summoning First events, up, daily and then the summoning focus next one. Okay. I'm gonna pause once once it gets like once all of them get up because like it's actually like pretty damn hype. This, this is gonna be a oh my god, there's so many so many good units. Okay. Check in daily before the sun sets on these events. Yeet. Okay. All right. So I'm I'm not gonna like go and like evaluate every single fucking unit out of these banners. I'm just gonna tell you like who I'm going to like try and go for personally with like the free summon because like I probably won't. Uh, I probably won't try and like summon on any of these. Maybe, yeah, I, I don't know. So for the first one, it, eh, eh, uh, Amelia, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Amelia, uh, one. 
Hector. Oh, eh, is Hector and and Takami. I this this one I I might spend like twenty orbs on. Might do like a circle. Uh, don't really care that much for Ike or this specific Ike. Uh, let's see. Nah, like I I, I get fucking or before they took took him out of the the current pool. I, I think Sigurd's not in this current pool. Uh, for the twenty nineteen banners but i keep getting random fucking sigurds bro like like I, like last year before they took him out like i, I don't think i yeah wait, wait sigurd came out with deirdre yeah, yeah dude i got like fucking three pity breaker uh sigurds and i'm just like oh okay that's that's cool and i merged the first two but then like the the, the last one i'm like debating on if i want to uh, fodder him for attack or no speed smoke but yeah i, I might <laughs> I feel like if I don't get like uh, a blue or colorless, I just like get red and it'll be a, like, actually, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to record my free summons for all of these. I'm going to put it into like a little compilation uh, video and I'm going to like show it like once they're all like done and you guys can see like the luck because um, I already, I already know, like I'm going to call that I'm going to get like, I'm probably going to get like four free five stars. But anyway, go through quicker. Uh, and Ike for that steady breath. Might go for Ira. Uh, Dorkass, because I don't have him. Zelgius, obviously. Uh, Delphia. Well, I already got Sword Reinhardt. That's like plus attack. So uh, this, ooh, this is this is a this is a good one because like, because like between like I don't have a Celica. Wait, wait, is this? Oh no, 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 no. Actually, no, no. Never mind, never mind. I'm gonna go for Hinoka because like I already have the silica. I thought this was yeah the next one yeah I want that silica Tome silica. So for this one I'll go for Hinoka, uh, silica. I like Rajat though she's she's Bay. Uh, I do want that bold fighter from Harden, but like I don't think I need it. So I just go for Grima. I already got like a plus attack Grima, so just just an extra merge. Oh fuck! I'm I really want to fodder my current Carla. Uh, to one of my violets, but yeah. Okay, leaf. Mm, probably mer and flying Nino. Uh, Deirdre. I'm probably gonna get Sigurd on accident. Uh, Quan, cause I don't have him. Uh, Ishtar. Uh, Ike and Clive. I'm sorry if that took a lot longer than it needed to be. I was like actually trying to. Oh, okay, Hero Fest. Hero Fest is definitely a fucking heavy ass yes when it comes to pulling dude. Damn, that was one tip. It's just fucking off to the side. Okay. Alright, so this is gonna be dummy lit. Oh man, full circles out the wazoo. So, okay, I was. Quick. I was actually like trying to plus 10 I, i'm currently trying to plus 10 fallen female corn and when i was like pulling on the uh, on their debut banner like the fallen banner and shit i i somehow managed to get a plus four fallen corn and a plus four fallen tiki so legit like i got like well ideally i would have like you know tried to plus 10 just corn but it i got some crazy rng and i ended up getting the both at plus four so I can probably plus 10 or, uh, or plus 10 fucking Tiki off this banner. And I already have a Surter. I've already had a Nyla, but I fodder her. Don't have a Tabarn. So, like, if I pull him that's not and it's not, like, plus attack, then, like, I might fodder him. But this, this is a pretty, pretty damn good banner. Easily, easily a really good fucking banner. So, you guys should save for that whenever the hell that is. Summer celebration is shaping up to be a hoot this year. Okay. So, I know next they're going to talk about the... Oh yeah, this shit. A new event is on the way. So this, to me, this is basically just free orbs. The Order of I'm gonna, has a new mission. I'm gonna to lower it back to that. Saga, so basically, with this, you pretty much like, you. I guess you're gonna be able to relive or like re-experience like some of the stories for like some of the older games, and or just like the games in general. Cause, but there's there's all I got with the Telia series, so I assume it's gonna be in order. 
probably, and pretty much deploy any character that's from that game or that from that like I'll say generation, but it's game, and you get like a bonus, and it's you don't actually fight or like from what it looked like, you're not actually like fighting yourself. They will kind of just I, I don't know. It's like one of those like one of those little like modes where you just leave your your unit there and then you go do something else and just like it's a time limit and like by the time you uh, when the timer goes off that means it's done you come back and check it so I I'm going to assume that the lore that you find is gonna like not be a cutscene but just like some dialogue or some like little some little like text between like the characters like explaining part of the story or some cool shit i don't know but like i'm i'm interested in this 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 is this is pretty cool not just because like the free orbs but because like for the people who haven't played like most of the older games or just like a lot of the games in general this can be like that hey this is some of the shit that happens in this game and as you can see there's a lot of fucking orbs it's not just one there's like multiple acts apparently and something called a strike has appeared it seems you must go toe to toe with foes before the and then job final is done. thing. Like, this is the final step in completing the saga and the final act. I wonder how consistent this game mode will be. Like, if they only have it out once for like a week, and then it goes away for like a month, and it comes back like the next month. Like, I feel like this would be something that should probably rotate a little bit more quickly because, like, this this potentially seems like a a, a fun little. Like, I won't even say time sync because the game itself is a time sync. But you can put it, put your units and, and uh, go into whatever the fuck the other world is. Do some other stuff, play some other game modes, come back, and then you get to read the little like story. So it, it, it's good to it's good. To, it's, it's, it's a good thing to just kind of do and not really have to put too much effort into. It's not like a competitive game mode, I guess. So that that's good because we we need more chill shit because tap battles is kind of fun. Yeah, but like when they stop giving us as many orbs, like I, I, I stopped doing that shit. Like, but and I like the ether resorts. That that that's pretty dope. Like I, I like what they're doing with like the more casual like modes. But meh, that, that's pretty much it. You get little story missions or story elements. Okay, this this is kind of important. So that's the grass. That's gonna be like the final battle of like whatever the act is, and then you just. Uh, you just send in your units, they'll get a bonus if they're from that game. And if they're uh, supported, like, with other units, ally support, then they get, like, extra stats, like, in addition to the ally support stats that I believe that they get. So it's like a, like a, almost like a bonus doubler, but not really, because, like, you get the innate uh, buffs, but then you get the buffs for just, I don't know, it's weird, whatever, we'll, we'll figure it out. Oh, shit, I didn't, oh, I didn't remember seeing this part. Oh! Mm. Mm. You get dragon flowers, fucking orbs, feathers, you get, man, you get a lot of good shit. Alright, here's the best part of the fucking video. Choose your legends, finally. Cause like, I mean, it's August now, so they, they kind of had to have like, like mentioned it or like brought it up at some point. Cause we're gonna be getting them pretty soon. I, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get them, like, maybe mid to late august camilla. all right here we go camilla baby girl my first fire emblem game with fates my first playthrough like conquest mary camilla easy easy she's one of the main reasons why i picked conquest it looks like she's trading all right Ugh. okay so since i am not good with quick maps i'm gonna pull out my cocky later and I am going to try and see what her BST is and if it's boosted, cause like, you know, we're we're already in that Gen three BST. But all right, so Sang Sang Yep, Sang Yep. Uh, Falcon at counter attack, great. If unit initiates combat, grants attack speed plus three during combat. Okay, that's good. After combat, if unit attack inflicts gravity on the target and foe within one space of target. So that's that's pretty damn good. It's basically like uh a grab a uh candlelight refined gravity with a mini swift sparrow 2 no yeah yeah no, no wait wait yeah like like 1. 1. 1.5 cuz like swift sparrow is like plus 4 to attack and speed that's that's pretty damn good and she that, that looks like attack tactic i'm pretty sure that's attack tactic in her uh c slot 
Anyway, she comes with a store plus, so obviously that's fucking good. Um, attack speed push four. Now we're we're, we're gonna get a new wave of like uh, golden border four skills, and I think for the most part they're pretty interesting. So let's see. Uh, at the start of combat, if unit's HP is greater than or equal to fifty, or sorry, twenty-five percent, grants attack speed plus seven. But after combat, if unit attack deals five damage to unit, that's pretty damn good because it has like a it has like a greater threshold than the normal attack speed push, and like it's only like, it, it, like like the fact that you don't have to be at one hundred percent HP is fucking great. And I actually have a um, Alencia. Uh, that's what I meant to say earlier. I didn't mean to say Emilio for that banner. I meant to say Alencia. Anyway, so I actually have uh, that dancing Alencia with attack speed push three. So if I potentially get another Camilla, well, nah, I wouldn't. I actually wouldn't even fodder her because she doesn't have anything else. Yeah, that yeah, that'd be kind of a waste. Nah, I, but I don't know. It, it, like I'm probably gonna go with Camilla on the free summon. Cause I don't have a flying healer, and she looks like she's gonna be pretty od. All right, but all right, let's let's look at these stats real quick. Uh, okay, uh, fourteen might, of course. Okay, plus. So that looks like uh, one fifty five BST. I don't know what. Here, wait. Mm. I don't know if that's like uh boosted because like i don't have any like flying uh uh flying healers but rain mm, actually that that might be boosted actually no 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 no. that oh i think that i think that is boosted is it whatever it, it good good stats like she's fast like she has kind of like fucking bad defensive stats res is kind of okay but I, I think like she's gonna be like really good utility because she has uh she has wrathful stash in the uh, wrathful staff in the B slot so she's gonna be dealing like like good good damage good damage I don't know if she's gonna outshine actually well I, I don't know if she's gonna be as good as Brave Veronica but so far she's looking pretty damn nice like like Swift Sparrow in her in her weapon uh gravity in the weapon too and like attack speed push four she's oh she's gonna hit so fucking hard and she's gonna be fast as fuck oh my god anyway keep it going so I'm, I'm feeling Camilla I'm feeling Camilla everything has finally been settled I am to succeed my father as Marques Ferre okay. now, for the now we got Eliwood it's Eliwood from the Fire Emblem the Blazing Blade game He's absolutely glowing and so now I'm during the ascension ceremony. I'm probably a position he is soon to inherit. I'll I'll wait till like after we we go over like all the units for like okay. Wait, hold on. I saw I saw something that looks like a new new skill. Okay, I don't know what the fuck that is and what that is. So if we if if we okay, I'm pretty sure this is new. Wait a second. I don't want to assume that both of these are inheritable, but I don't think I've seen these two. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I know this the one in the middle looks a little familiar, but it might be new. Anyway, let's let's look at let's look at his uh, stats and abilities. Shit. Damn, wait, oh, I forgot. I got it like super fast feet speed, so like it's just blowing by. I want to try and calculate them stats. Okay. Alright, so he is a calf unit. So that's already gonna be nerf BST. Uh 32. See, I, I kinda wish I did this ahead of time, but I was like, eh, fuck it. Like just have the BST ready. Wait, did I miss something? Okay. Alright, let me see how much might his weapon gives him. 16? Okay. Mm. Oh, shit. This is looking like 165 BST. Unless I did my maps wrong. It is my duty to defend- Oh, god damn it. 
And then, all right, wait, wait. Okay. Nini's, or, uh, wait. Ninis's, Ninis's Isolance, effective against fucking everything. <laughs> okay. Effective against Dragon and Beast Foes, grant speed plus three. Oh, I took that out of, okay, so it's 162. I forgot that it added three to a speed. So yeah, 162 BST, and that's the same as uh, Sigurd, which is boosted, because uh, I don't think other calf units uh, from Generation 3 has been getting that BST treatment, so that's good. Speed plus three, if unit initiates combat, grants plus four to all stats. That's fucking nice. That's 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 pretty damn good. This this guy, he's, he's gonna slap a lot of shit. I'm not gonna go into like super crazy like like details about what I think potential good builds can be, but just like just initial impressions of the weapons and stuff and like the new abilities, like this this is a good weapon. Should you mm, damn, that's actually gonna be really good because he's effective against beasts and dragons. That's that's wild. He's gonna be slapping shit, bro. Oof. Mm. And then Swift Sparrow 3, we already got that. So like he, oh my god, he's he's gonna be shredding through dragons and beasts. Alright. Time for Micaiah and you. To introduce the winner of the women's division! It's Micaiah from the Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn game! Stunning. Have not played it. I would expect no less from the I want to. Rules. Might might uh might and do an emulator nice playthrough. Yeah. She's making use of a green tone <gasps> this time. Fuck! Okay. Keep forgetting it's going by like faster than it normally does. Uh, oh, dude, that's cool. I didn't even notice at first, but Yun is like right there on her. Like, oh, it, it's just like uh, just like Fallen Recruit with, it, with his lady friend whose name escapes me at the moment, but I swear I know who it is. Um, that that shit looks dope. Oh man, that's cool. Af. All right, like Don. Gonna calculate these stats. I feel like she should probably have boosted BSC. Okay, wait. Nine minus, okay. Ooh. 37 attack. She's gonna be hitting hella hard. Mm hmm. Uh, team was. Uh, ooh. 37 res, too? Okay, 155 BST. That's. That's, well, it's not, okay, it's not arm, or it's not legendary arm boosted B BST for infantry range units, but that's, that's still pretty standard, like, that's the same as, uh, Cliff, yeah, that's the same as Cliff, but yeah, really, really high fucking res, slow, low HP, low defense, but that res is godlike, and her attack, she's gonna, she's gonna hit hard, so, Light of Dawn, effective against armor and cavalry, and grants, uh, res plus three, Grants bonus to attack, speed, defense, res during combat equal to the penalty on each of target stats. Calculate each each stats uh, each stat bonus independently. So it's kind of like reverse um, bonus doubler, but for penalties. Yeah, it, it, no, it, it's like it's like uh, yeah, it's bonus doubler, but for penalties, but for the enemy. So that can potentially be pretty good, but you'd have to kind of run a lot of skills that would debuff the enemy. So she comes with Sacrifice, which is what normal Makai comes with, and that B slot, I know that's gonna be an exclusive skill, because that just looks weird. Yeah, oh yeah, it has like the white border, white border skills, um, those, those are not, those, those are, um, not inheritable. And then, I, I feel like this is an order skill, ground orders, is that, is that what that is? I feel like that's ground orders, anyway, uh, okay, attack res bond 4. This is so fucking dope because, all right, the bond skills were already pretty, pretty good. Like for, for like, you, you can kind of slap like most of them on like any, like any type of unit and like kind of make it work. But the fourth or the fourth, uh, variant or the gold border shit, I think, I think this is gonna, gonna be a game changer. So if unit is adjacent to an ally grants attack res plus seven to unit and neutralizes units penalties to attack and res during combat so like basically you're gonna get that buff and you're gonna make sure you you get that like clean buff that's that's pretty good that's really damn good and like for Micaiah, like she's gonna have like 47 res and like uh 58 attack she's oh oof with this with effective against armor and calf and she's a green unit oof oof
boy. That is nice. A green tone okay. this time. Do you think Yoon will provide any divine influence? Skilled heroes abound in this. Now place. for my boy. I mustn't fall behind. Um, Finally, I love this. I love this art. I love it. This is so good. I was hoping that he, that he got uh, that he got this like. Oh. And seems to be drawing inspiration from Emperor Rudolph of the Regalian Empire. I stand ready. I wonder if this try. Oh no! See, okay, now let me go back. So it's a little hard to tell what his stats uh, are exactly, but I'm going to assume. That he's probably gonna be like a 168 BST infantry unit, but let me okay because he has buffs to his attack and his speed, and I think that's because of his you know little special C slot, and I don't know if that's something that we have already. I don't think it is, and I'm gonna go on a limb and say okay wait hold on. let me let me add up his other stats to get a better idea of where his other stats should be. So, 42, 37, and 20. Okay. Uh, 168, eh, minus, okay. Uh, okay. I don't I, I really don't know what type of buffs he can be getting or like like how much the buffs are because like it would be OD if it was anything over over uh four. Yeah, no, mm, no no. It, it it has to be six. I, I feel like it, unless it's like unless it's like maybe five, six is what they normally go with with these new like exclusive like uh buff skills or whatever. Like uh legendary Ellie Wood, he can give like that uh field wide uh double Double uh, rally. Anyway, so uh, Draco Falcon, Falchion, <laughs> that ain't Falco. Uh, effective against dragon foes, grants attack plus three. If the number of foes within two spaces excluding the target are greater than or equal to the number of allies within two spaces excluding unit, grants all stats plus five during combat. So I, I guess that's kind of like a legendary Ephraim thing. If he's alone or like if, if there's more uh, enemies than allies and like he's going to get that bonus which is really 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 good but what what i think is a little od quite od is his is a slot sin sen sen scale deals damage equals to 25 percent of units attack but after combat if unit attack deals seven damage to unit now that's wait is moon <sighs> What's what's the closest thing to that? That's like that's almost doing a draconic aura uh, uh, per attack, and like that is insane. Did we? Did you see his attack stat, bro? Bro, let's let's go back. Wait, no, 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 not not that far back. Hold on, my boy. From Emperor Rudolph of the Regalian Empire. Okay, yeah, we know this. Okay, let's say. Mm. See, like, damn, I really, I really wish I knew like what his attack stat was. Like, uh okay, let's. Hmm. Let's say. Let's say he's getting like, like uh, a plus six buff. Let's just say he has like fifty six attack, like. Wonder if this tried and true has any new okay oh my god 99 times two why they gotta put him up against a green dragon that's that's oh all i'm breathing on him is overkill <laughs> he's gonna like snuff out his existence just by looking at him anyway so yeah like let, let's say he has at least like 20 or not 20 uh, uh 56 attack do 25 or six okay so that's an additional 14 damage if like uh counting the plus three that he gets from um his his uh his weapon let's let's just assume that he's getting a plus six buff right 50 56 attack and this is this is per every attack uh, attack 
and like he's gonna get an additional 14 damage at, at the least like, let's let's just like 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 say hypothetically because that, that's like the average attack for most like like uh Murmurdon, like sword units like nowadays like that that's gonna be nasty you pair that up with literally any special and you're doing damage damage that oh oh i okay so it's gonna be between alm and camilla for the free summon i'm gonna do a summoning circle first and then i'll do um i'll do my free summon like i like i'll do like maybe two full circles and whoever i don't get out of like alm and camilla i'll just like go get the free one but and oh what is this Choose one of these four heroes in an upcoming free summon event. There's still time to think about which hero you want. So obviously, we're gonna get a free summon. It looks like that's all for today, summoners. Yes, that is. Yeah, that, that's that's pretty much it. Like I know this this has been a little bit of a longer uh video analysis thing, impressions, I guess. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, but I'm I'm pleasantly surprised. This is pretty well. Actually, going through everything, like, I'm really just concerned about, like, the orbs, the, the, um, the new, the new Hero Fest is going to be quite nice, so save your orbs for that, if you're not interested in any of these characters, which I doubt, because, like, either you want to plus 10 one of these people, or you're trying to get some of these guys for fodder, like, Nyla has DC and, uh, uh Null C Disrupt, Surter is yeah surter um tiki amazing like colorless dragon unit and then you have like mr like uh run up gale force kill you before you blink this yeah this, this is a pretty this is a pretty dope uh fate channel um i wish they would have like announced it but I, I guess they're like not really doing those anymore because like I, don't, I can't even remember the last time they did a uh announcement for uh, a fate channel but well, anyway, that, that's been my thoughts. Um, yeah, that's been my thoughts and opinions on, like, all this stuff. So, you guys know what to do. Leave a like. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell as well. If you uh, enjoy my content, if you want to keep seeing my face, like the content that I'm providing for you guys. If you didn't already check it out, I do have a, uh, a Mythic Sophus uh, Summon Banner video. So, and it was pretty hype. Not gonna lie, pretty hype. But if you didn't check it out, go check it out. For those of you guys who did, like, yeah, the video was doing like pretty, pretty well, uh, pretty, pretty good. So yeah, uh, do that, do all that good shit, and I will catch you guys in the next one. So this has been your boy Shaq, aka Black Goku, PC out.